Okay. Well, hello. Yes. What's up, everyone? Hello, Internet Land. My welcome, name is Ezra. Welcome to episode 10, guys. Can episode you believe 10. it? We've reached it. We started last year. Uh, was it April, May? We're finally yeah. the soccer player. Because, you know, number 10, unlike Messi. jerseys. Yes, yes. yeah. I, I, I know soccer. Yes. Well done. Well done. What's, what's, what's news and what's happened in your life in the last four weeks, Pete? I've been very sick. In the past uh, two weeks. Coronavirus. What kind, what kind of? Ooh, <laughs> no. Just what kind a, of sickness, bro? Just a tummy bug. Uh, got oh. hit. Got hit two weeks ago. Felt a bit better. Got hit again. Um, not too sure about the source. Uh, oh, good, good pun. Because <laughs> wait, I don't get it. <laughs> well, he's been. It's source going in, source going out. <laughs> oh, oh, wild. <laughs> um, and uh, we, we did have like a, a staff function where uh, we say goodbye to, to one of our staff members moving on. Oh. Mm. And we had like a, like a buffet style. It's um, the buffet. I think so, because a few other people had similar symptoms to oh. me. It's always the buffet. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't had beef in a long time. And it was like a beef thing. Red meat, bro. Ah. Yeah, so. Go anyway. pescatarian. It's just a happier well, lifestyle. Thanks for, <laughs> yeah. thanks for updating us on your yeah, no, so oh, your bowel movements. Yes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm 100% again, I'm back. Um, and the beard? I, the beard? Tell us about the, what's, what's inspired this, the beard growth. Is it prepping for the winter? I'll be honest. Um, I, I, we have this um, barber that we go to, uh, Egyptian. Oh, yeah, yes. the guys um, are the best. Mustafa, Mustafa shout, shout out. out. Um, one of the best barbers. But one of the issues I always have going there is that when I say, please, you know, trim my beard, they trim it too short. Okay. And I don't like that. Okay. So when I went again, um, I just said to him, can you just please keep the length? Mm. And he was like, okay, cool. And so this is this is him keeping the length and it growing out of Did it. Did you Google Mustafa what keep the length is in Egyptian? No, Arabic. In Arabic. Because <laughs> Mustafa has a pretty cool beard though. He so does. He, so he knows. No, he no, knows no, he, about the no, no, no. But like when it comes to like, you know, doing the lines and all that stuff, like he's, he's amazing. Sure. Um, mm. And... Uh, it's looking good. Thank you, man. The view, the views I need to go again. I need okay. to go again, yeah. Ezra? I've actually also been sick for like the past week. Really? But, like, like, you know, just your throat is just killing you and you wake up and you feel like you want to die. That's corona. No, no, that's everyday life. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's deep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, you okay? Sorry. Whoa. Um, I was laughing at that. No, no, it's, 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 it's been good. Just, just getting into the grind again. Um, it's only March. Um, this but year it's has weird. gone by quick. Well, at the end of March, we're like a quarter, um, like a quarter through the year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, but one thing I actually did want to plug is that immediately, no, not immediately, about an hour after this episode goes mm, up, mm, yeah. we are going to be, well, Peter's going to be scre- um, streaming. Screaming. And Peter, his, Peter's going to be screaming, <laughs> and streaming. on stream. Screaming, yeah. And what are you um, streaming or streaming I'm, at? I'm s- streaming uh, Skyrim. Skyrim? Yeah, uh, on PlayStation 4. So the, okay. the, the format is slightly different. And it's like Ultimate Edition one thing. I, but I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm playing a Orc Warrior with heavy armor, okay. dual wielding. So it's going to be good. So, so, so tune in for that. Chill with Peter. Yeah. Say hi in chat. Um, I Kill might some dragons. just lurk around and say hi. Yeah. Hopefully I'm running the wrong Twitch account when I say hi. That's a bit weird. I was yeah. going to ask you, because yeah. I remember last time mm-hmm. we spoke... Um, you were saying that there were um, kind of like disruptions at Varsity. Is that yeah. still going oh. on or are you back to normal No, scheduling? but apparently CPUT was burning. Really? Yeah, no, so um, no. like I, w- I was actually leaving campus yesterday and they were saying that CPUT's Belleville campus, which is opposite you know, yes. by the way, where I go, um, and the Cape Town campus, um, there was like, they were pulling, um, protesters were pulling students out of class. Oh, no. um, there was like... 14 cars stolen or something. No way. Um, and that's t- all to do with um, um, like accommodation and housing and stuff. How's this funny? That's hectic. No, that's, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you guys it in, they burned yeah. a building down. The whole lecture. The whole lecture. lecture it was really sad because I actually, I, I had a, a conversation with one of my clients and she also used to mm. go to CPD. I'm also, mm. that's also my alma mater. Mm. And um, she just said, you know, the, the drop in standard. Oh, wow. Because yeah. so, she's busy with the mm. masters now. Mm. And she just said, "There's not, there's no equipment." She there's been a bit mismanagement. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's just, it's been such a a letdown for her. Mm. And so she's also looking to switch mm. over to UCT or UW. Yeah. It's yeah. sad that such a place of like learnership back in the Absolutely. day has now become. Yeah. I mean, who wants to even now apply? It's like, True. it's like I feel from what you two are saying is that oh, I can't get into the other universities. Mm. Let me land up with CPU. Yeah, no, that, 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 that is the attitude sure. for it. Although. 
like what's amazing about it is that it actually is a lot cheaper than other universities. Yeah, that's true. So if you look at demographic makeup and the students you would end up with, statistically you would get the lower income students. Yeah. However, mm. what's amazing about South Africa and that we have standards and stuff mm. is that at the end of the day, you end up with the same certification. Sure. Um, because like we were saying, like w what was wild, for example, is that um, UWC is a lot cheaper as well. Like, like mm. just from experience. And that's a quality like, university. Mm. Yeah. So, and like at the end of the day, you know, if you have a degree, you have a degree. Mm. Yeah. And what's wild is that... Well, some have, companies like, do look at whether you've got some, Stellenbosch some or you've got UKZN. But that's just because they had past students there. Like, that's in, true. In, in my opinion. But like when, when you're looking at like 10 to 15,000 rand differences and mm. then like even 30,000 rand differences tickets, because UCT is number one so they have to charge the world. I'll, I'll say Not this, hitting on them, but my, like... My yeah. four years at UKZN cost one year to go to Stellenbosch and Res. Wow. <laughs> and come out with the same degree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. with, with honors and everything, mm. nobody really cares at the end of the day. Oh. I've, I've, I've met a lot of computer scientists as well um, mm. at the like supercomputer place like um, in Cape Town. Um, they all went to UKZ. Yeah. So, Shouts out. Shouts out. We don't have a lecture hall. We don't have a... Uh, don't exams, 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 exams anymore. Speaking of South Africa, mm. um, obviously something that's really um, hit the world news quite severely and yeah. it's been very uh like the biggest thing in world news at the moment um is the coronavirus uh spreading rapidly i thought you were going to say the new james bond song but okay that too we can talk about oh. that later um but first case confirmed on the 4th of march or was it the 3rd of march yes um in south africa one guy in case it one guy went to italy came back and a few days after coming back decided to display some symptoms mm. of what he thought was just a, a fever and went to the doctor and mm. first confirmed case. Sure. So, very responsible thoughts. of him, eh? Very responsible. And like, I, I think he self-quarantined as well for a bit. I think he's recovering oh, really? in hospital and he is on the up. Okay. Um, because if you, if you have that access to those mm. medical facilities, you, you'll yeah. be fine. Mm. And ne one thing I like that Nedbank has done, Nedbank recognized a few of their staff was on that exact same plane. So they've quarantined those employees. That was just, oh, they, they're just yesterday. And now the big searches, everyone who was on that okay. plane, they're trying to search down lockdown. Yeah. But so. because of how like people work in like yeah. exponents, um, yeah. like <laughs> one person just needs to go to two people, those two people need to go to two people. But don't panic. That's, yes. that's, that's the biggest thing Absolutely. at the end of the day. And that's Absolutely. what a lot of experts are saying. Yeah. Don't panic. So I want to share a little bit about something happening to me in a few mm. weeks. But before we get there, um, Ezra, I know your dad's done a lot of research on this. Yes. And there's a lot of panic and uh, mm. almost, what would you say, the, the setting is in everyone's mind is, ah, yeah. this is the end. Mm. Yeah. Um, firstly, two questions. What must we take note of and what must we not panic about? Okay, so let me preface this by saying I'm not an expert. My dad's actually the expert. Um, and like because he's... Um, uh, Professor in microbiology, he's principal inv investigator for the virology lab at UWC, um, and he's actually worked on a coronavirus before SARS. So we were in Singapore during the outbreak, as I said, the last episode. So I'm not pretending to have the answers, and I'm not pretending to know all the answers. Mm -hmm. um, but I can tell you, sincerely tell you, do not panic. I'm looking yeah. at right into the camera. Do not panic. Um, at, at, at the end of the day, um, the government has things in place. I know there's the yep. joke going around like, oh, if we couldn't survive the Poloni, what are we going to do now? <laughs> um, but Your our, sister posted that today on Facebook. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> but our uh, um, National Institute of Communic um, Communicable Diseases, they have some intelligent people. They have their plans in place. The fact that this guy was isolated and quarantined mm. so quickly and mm. so and efficiently. And his family. And, and his family. That's good. Um, and basically the things to keep in mind is good hygiene practices. Yeah. So we should always have these anyway because yes. you don't want yeah. to catch the flu or yeah. cold or something. Um, but what's important is that you wash your hands regularly, mm -hmm. that the things you come into contact with, you disinfect, mm. um, that you... Sneeze like, you know, into your elbow. Yeah, sneeze yeah. into your elbow when making contact with people if you know you're feeling under the weather or like, mm. you know, keep it to a fist bump or a foot pat or just what, the, the what nod. What about? The nod. Yeah. Uh, the, the the live long and prosper. <laughs> It's, it's like, reading. bro, you're, you're tricky. I didn't realize that. I'm not. Nice. I just oh, saw a meme. Okay, you just saw the meme. <laughs> yeah. um, so there's a lot of things we can do to protect ourselves, mm. um, but it doesn't mean you have to go stock up on toilet rolls. It doesn't mm. mean you have to go... Australia mm. vibes. Although, if you, if you want to buy a computer, just for all of my tech guys out there, probably oh, buy it now wow, because yeah. supply is dwindling. Really? Um, but uh, like, uh, like the essential stuff, um, South Africa, we manufacture a lot of our own stuff. Mm. It will be fine. Okay. We mm. will be okay. Like, like, and just going to history, I know, like, I'm dragging this out a bit, but um, 
looking at other coronaviruses which has mm. hit South Africa. Mm. So like SARS for one. Um, we only had like a few hundred cases at most. I, I, I'm, not even sure if it was, I'm not even sure it was 100 cases. Like I, I'm, I'm not clued up on those numbers, okay. but mm. it was either nothing or next to nothing. Okay. Um, so like we should be fine. And we also seen that it hasn't been mm. spreading like wildfire through Africa. True. Yeah. Is that um, because of the climate, the heat, the summer that we're in? Viruses don't so, thrive. So, from what it looks like, and Peter, you probably also have mm. some stuff on it, but um, it's affecting mostly older individuals yeah. and older males oh, okay. with um, compromised immune systems, maybe oh, compromised okay. lungs. Um, and Africa has a very young population. True. Yeah. So, True. provided they have care to good healthcare, which a lot of Africa does not, yeah. um, but in our case, like they can go to a local clinic. There's measures in place at most healthcare um, venues in South yeah, Africa. Yeah, well, it it should be fine. Yeah, Peter, yeah. yeah. Your thoughts? No, I I think I think definitely um, you mentioned about climate. I think you know um, the northern hemisphere. You know they they're coming out of their winter mm. um, sniffles, sneezes. Everybody's struggling. And like with the it. flu usually exactly yeah. transfers a lot. There. Um, and I think what I want to commend you know some of those those. Um, tech companies who've kind of like yep. yeah. shut down um, some of their, 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 their businesses, their yeah. branches. And their events as well. And GDC, events. <clears throat> PAX, like yeah. a whole bunch of yeah. cool conventions. I, I think they're taking a, a real hit. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think they're very aware of bringing thousands of people into one location. Yeah. And, you know, having different items that you can touch and play in new tech. Wow. Mm. Um, you know, so, so uh, you know, that, that to me is... is like you know, take my hat off to those guys because yeah, absolutely, it's such a, it's such a slap in the face to the old model of capitalism. We're gonna do mm. at at any cost. We're gonna make money, but the tech companies saying, you know what? Okay, well, we can still make money by working from home, but all of the guys work from home. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But still, like <laughs> the summit, not having yeah. that, saying that might mm. lead to some sort of profit in mm, the long run. Mm. But let's forego that for the sake of health and yeah, safety. Yeah. So I well, people can't that. buy things if they're dead. That's true. <laughs> like, true. like putting it quite bluntly. <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah. So, like, 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 if you actually like, you the real that, capitalist. With, yeah. yeah, no, with, with, with how <laughs> capitalism's yeah. moving, it's kind of like, yeah. hey, if people have money, mm. I, like, that's why they're installing Wi-Fi across Africa. Sure. Yep. Just, just as a true. thought and an aside. Yeah. So, like, it's in their best interest, but also a lot of the things they've been canceling has been like trade shows. It's literally marketing events they're canceling, mm. and mm. they can always do a live stream. Media will co- cover it. In fact, probably even mm. a bit more. And the amount of good press that they're getting yeah. for being yeah. socially responsible. Interestingly, um, Comic Con Seattle, mm. they're just like pushing ahead. Really? Because Seattle was that was the that, that was, was the case. That was the America. epicenter of the of the states. You know, yeah. with the old age home. Oh, oh and yes, yes, Some yes. of those people getting yeah. getting ill. Yeah. Um, just but do old people go to Comic Con? No, Ooh. no. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> some of the some of their staff members also got 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 ill and uh, have been quarantined. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, just an update on my sister. I was, I was chatting to her yesterday and, um, you know, the question's always been f- from, from the family side. It's like, when are you going back to work? Yeah, because yeah. your sister's in China, just for the people. That's yes, cor- yeah. Sorry, that's correct. She is in Gong, Shenyang, Long... Shenzhen. Shenzhen. Shenzhen district. No. Shenzhen is where, like, you can go buy Shenyang. an iPhone, like, oh. PCB. Like, she just got a new iPhone, actually. Yeah. Okay, wow. it's kind probably doing her best life. <laughs> she is. And um, she's in Laoning, China. Laoning. In the... This is spelled T I E X I. I don't know how you say that in Chinese. <laughs> um, in that district of Shenyang, it's probably Taizé. 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 Taizé or something. Um, and uh, so she's a teacher for small preschool kids, mm. teaching them English. And uh-huh. yeah, it's very Tiny. cute. All the video she sends That's is cool. a- adorable. Everyone with masks. <laughs> oh. Well, no, she's not going <laughs> to school. And so, oh, okay. so I think the the um, education council in her area has said no. Kids are not going back to school. They don't want to wow. uh, risk anything. So she's basically not gone to work for the last month and a half, which has, mm. you know, been difficult. And she's kind of stayed in her flat for mm. majority of that. But she recently told me that a lot of the malls have started opening a lot of oh, shops. Okay. And okay. Started opening up again. There's a lot more movement. So she went shopping. I think yesterday. Um, but everybody's very much, you know. Mm. Um, I think she tried to take a mask off because it was getting sweaty. And one of the security guards were like, hey, you yeah. got to put that yeah. back. You know? everyone, you know, what are you doing? Yeah. So there's definitely, um, I think it's, uh, the, the pressure is kind of like off a bit. You know, people are That's moving good. around a bit yeah. more. But in terms of her work, um, it's a bit difficult because she's not, not able to go back to work. So mm. she's hoping to get some some online, you know, teaching classes and making videos and stuff. Yeah. That's so, not a bad idea. Yeah. 
but just uh, just the on like closing classes and stuff. Um, what, what's what's kind of interesting? My dad mentioned to me is um, during like SARS outbreak, mm. um, Singapore closed schools for like a month. Sure. Um, but then they opened it after a month again because okay, they okay. realized that that demographic wasn't really getting sick. Okay. okay. And you're doing the kids a disservice. Yeah. By, like obviously in kindergarten, like oh, like they're going to miss coloring and finger <laughs> painting, but especially when it's high school students, yeah, when it's absolutely um, like. Higher primary school students. Okay. You don't want to just be closing schools, especially if these kids aren't getting sick. Mm. Okay. So, like, that's that's something to look out for yeah. in SA. Like, I kind of hope they don't close schools just because yeah. we can't afford closing yeah. schools or universities. Mm. Yeah. So, I am, I work, you mentioned it, uh, someone mentioned the tech company. Yes, yes yeah. tech companies. So, mm. we've got a branch in Seattle. Mm. So, that the company just said, Seattle branch closed. Mm. Everyone has to work from home. How do they get coffee now? <laughs> Very good question. Well, yeah, <laughs> right, so I am. So the one case in South Africa yeah. is Peter Maritzburg, and in Peter Maritzburg, there's a suburb called Hilton. Hey, Taryn, where were you from again? I'm from Maritzburg, but further to the point, in two weeks' time, my wife and I fly to Maritzburg, and oh, we're nice. driving through Hilton, um, ah. and my grandparents live in Hilton. Oh, oh no, both sets, and so. Sure. The workers now said, okay, because you're going into an area that there's known to be a case, when you come back, you're not allowed to step into the office for two weeks. I so, see this as an absolute win. Absolutely. <laughs> I, hope, I hope no one from the office is listening. Um, I don't want to work from home. I love going to work. <laughs> like, work is amazing. Wow. Yeah. But absolute win. So they are, uh, it affects all of us. Yeah. Um, some positively, some <laughs> most negatively. Hey, it, uh, it's positively if you come back, okay. Yeah. No, I think I will. I'll co- sneeze into my... Yeah, um, but now also my wife then works at a school. Oh, oh no! So what are the implications there? So she'll need to obviously clarify, uh, well, say things to the headmaster mm. like I'm going. So anyway. where, where are you planning on going for your quarantine vacation? I mean, I mean, work legitimate work while away. <laughs> We're thinking um, Antarctica. <laughs> oh, yes. no cases. I hear the penguins are nice this time of year. Yeah, I hear it's great. Yeah, day. the sun just doesn't go down because you know summer and southern hemisphere. That is true. Yeah, thirty day days. Yeah, I know it's wild. Awesome. Anyway. Are you going um, to go see your grandparents? No, I'm going for a wedding. Oh. Um, nice. It's a really great wedding. These are like your typical, um, how do I say it? Wild and out farms, farmers. Okay. Um, so the, the guy's bachelor's party. So you get wild and out farmers? I thought they were all conservative. No, no, no. Th- these guys are crazy. Oh, nice. okay. It's They're crazy, man. White it's crazy. people who live in the Drakensberg. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. That basically, this guy's altitude. bachelor's is climbing from the bottom to the top. Of the Drakensberg in one day, sleeping over on top of the mountain, top of Sonic yeah. Pass, and then climbing, like walking back down. Kind of a rite of passage. Yeah, Absolutely. let's go with that. Yeah, yeah okay. we'll go with that. We'll call it and that. I'm unfortunately not going because I've got another wedding that weekend. Yeah, and you can't afford yeah. to get that so high. So I'm going for, for that wedding and then saying hi to mom for, for one or okay. two days. Yeah. Mom's also in Maritzburg. I've been WhatsApping her, telling her to, oh, be okay. to sanitize her hands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just keep, keep away safe. from the Because she drives up to Hilton for work every day. Oh, uh, so it's oh. in the same suburb. So it's a sure. Yeah. yeah tell her to roll up all the windows. <laughs> I'll, I'll, hey, t- I'll just, try to listen to the podcast. We just told no. people not to panic. Don't panic. Yeah. Sanitize no, your hands. We, we, we're going to be hygiene. coming back to the coronavirus and its effects just now. Yeah. Um, potentially sporting events canceled, economies, the sure. effects of that. Sure. But just to change the subject, something I'm really excited about. I know Peter's really amped on. Mm. Um, we spoke about this topic a lot last year. We did. Um, F1 season is oh, going to... Oh, yeah, so excited. Woo. Formula One is going to start. Yeah, that's um, good. That's good. Next week, Sunday, is the first race of Australia. the year. Australia. Yeah. Can Hamilton break equal Schumacher's record? Is someone going to pip him? Sure. Is Verstappen going to finally say, you know what? Because there was an interview mm. that came out with Verstappen, I think, yesterday. Yeah. Where he said, my goal this year is to disrupt Hamilton. Sure. That's his whole... That's his race plan. It's like, wow, that's kind of like, I'm out to get you, so yes. watch it. I love it, because then we're going to finally see races. Like, Absolutely. I'm happy yeah. to see a, a safe crash, a race. Not a, not <laughs> what do you mean a, not a safe a, crash? You know where they just pip your wheel and you spin off. Like, like, what do you want, like speed a, racers style crashes? Do you watch Formula One? I used to. Okay, the races, the crashes are Nobody has DSTV. Yeah, it's too expensive. Yeah. It's too expensive. No, like yeah. either you get it for free or you don't. But on the all. F1 app, you can now stream the races. How but much you, does it cost? I don't know. I think it's quite expensive. Uh, I looked it? at it. Yeah. Okay. It's well over ten dollars a month. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. But like, no. how, like how, how how much hours? And you only oh. get it. You only watch once every two weeks. Yeah. I mean, you maybe watch <laughs> free practice and then qualifying. And I don't even watch free practice because it's really boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just guys practicing. It's yeah. like what the hell. No. I'm very excited. I think, I think this is gonna be. This is the year before the big change mm. comes in terms of rules. And the big and change being like... Aerodynamics. Yeah. Okay. Um, They're covering the tyres so that 
you can race easier. So if yeah. you crash into someone, they don't go out of the race. They can still race. Oh, the yeah. tires yeah. don't pop. And then also there's a budget change. Your budget is limited yeah. to, I think, 100, yeah, so 180 I, I, million. I remember speaking million, about yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Because Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull, these they teams just, yeah. have so much And Ferrari money. didn't veto again. Yeah. Uh, there was a big conspiracy around Ferrari at, <sighs> yeah. at the moment. Oh, they I didn't think, veto that. Yeah, okay, okay. They, yeah. They've given the go-ahead. So I think all the teams are ready and I've started planning and stuff yeah. for 2021. 20, but this this year, like Ty said, it's Hamilton is going to potentially you know crack that record. Yeah. Um, Max, is it's his last year to become the youngest world champion. Yep. Um, and break Vettel's record, I believe. I think two? Vettel went in 2010. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Vettel was the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Still he, holds his he's record. He's how old now currently? Vettel. No, 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 Max Verstappen. I think 22 oh, or 20, 23. Yeah. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> uh, but also, he, he joined F1. He joined F1 when he was 18. Yeah, it was incredible. He was well, racing in the 2016 season. So, what, what, so, like, okay, sorry. Joined F1 when he was 18, but, like, obviously he was doing karts and stuff before Absolutely, F2. yeah. Oh, these guys have been racing now. since they were five. Okay, yeah, okay. He, he went from the F3. Did he? I think we went straight from F3 to oh, really? Formula 1. But his dad was a previous... That's correct. Yeah, yeah. he was... Yes, first happened. Yes. In the Schumacher Hakkinen days. He was... Also, he was a racer, also, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I'm... I, one of the, the upsets for me is um, one of the lower tier teams from mm. last year called Racing Point. Yep. Um, this is big news, by the way. I haven't heard yeah. about them, but okay. okay. Yeah, so they, they used to be Indian owned and then there was a transfer and, you know, that... Um, CEO, the owner got Made indicted, some. and yeah, um, and then there was a transfer of you know the basically the team was up for grabs. Okay, a Canadian billionaire. Yeah, and his son, who is a racer for that for the team, okay, kind of bought in and said this yeah. is an opportunity to to have a F one team. So now in this new season, they've made a lot of changes to the car. And they kind of reveal. Before you say, sure. let's go back to last season. Last season, racing point <coughs> sucked. In Second fact, last. Every season they haven't done well since they've since Force India. Started and became racing point. Mm. They've never featured in Formula One. Okay. Anyway, carry on. And um, you know, everybody was really shocked because when the car was revealed, it's a pink car, right? The, yeah. the design. Yeah. For any reason, or is it just to stick? Um, it's always I think been it's pink for their, for their branding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they looked at the aero and looked at the specific designs, and they saw that it was literally a copy of the championship winning Mercedes from last year from last but, year but, but or maybe it is the championship <laughs> winning Mercedes millimeter from last year. for millimeter yeah. inch for inch this car is identical to last year's Hamilton's car is this car. a bad thing is it illegal no it's, it's not it's not illegal okay. but it's it's kind of like it's unethical to, yeah it's I don't know, but but why do you make it the sport more exciting? That's my thing. So it's kind of like you know, like but, you pitch but, up there and you have your secret but weapon, you're and then boom, you're other secret innovation. Weapon. It's like some go. some person's got this brain. He's a creative, and he creates this car that. Yeah. And then someone's like, "Oh, you're winning. Your formula is because yeah. you have a good car. Mm. Let's copy it." The the, mm. the other know? issue with the car is that also the power unit is mm. Mercedes, and oh, they yeah. also use a gearbox from Mercedes, and also suspension is the same. I'm not. I'm not sure. I think so so it's basically a reskin. It pretty much yes. like some of the photos that have gone out is like they take one sliver mm. half of the photo is like Mercedes yeah. and the other the other half is like um, Racing Point yeah and it looks identical it's like a mirror image. So my of, question is, won't this put like a lot of power in the driver's hands then? Because so then, so for example like um, I, I remember it's when a skill last of the driver we spoke that will this. determine exactly yeah. and we spoke last about this. We did. We there was did, a yeah. lot of innovation for the cars and if you have a lot of money then but no you know, one you can go there. No one supports Racing Point. Like, <laughs> it'll be great if Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes were all equal with cars. Then yeah. it's up to the driver. Yeah. yeah. But it's not. Now it's going to be But like, so, so it won't be an underdog story because they're copying Mercedes? Or no, it could never be an underdog story. Yeah. The, the, the interesting, just another of the design, mm -hmm. um, Red Bull have done this thing called racking. Yeah. Where they, they kind of lift it. the back yeah. end and okay. it gives you more downforce. downforce. Uh, and Racing Point was doing that as well last year. Mm. But with... Um, with the big difference between Red Bull and Mercedes is Mercedes doesn't do racking. Yeah. This year, the Racing Point car because it's a copy of yeah. this, it doesn't have any racking. Ah. Yeah. Um, which is also very interesting. Yeah. But but I just think you know the 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 um, the testing, the winter testing yeah, happened. They've just finished. Winter and testing. people are saying that Racing Point have with their times, which is difficult to judge because a lot of yeah. a lot of variables in, yeah. in in testing. But they're saying that they've bridged the gap. And that they are top of midfield, if not up there with Ferrari, up there with the three best teams. Yeah. That's interesting, um, yeah. Which it makes me sad, but 
at the same time, you're making an argument that's going to make competition better. Like, like, yeah, it, if it'll someone hits Hamilton exciting. in the first corner and bumps him out the race, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> it's like, wow, what do you have against this guy, Shane? I just love Schumacher that much. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, so I, I think it's going to make for a very, very interesting yeah. season. And I'm very excited for Australia to see actually what yeah. comes from that. Um, is Australia fine, by the way? Would, is this thing still happening? Good question. I want to go mm. into the coronavirus, back into the coronavirus. Yeah. We don't know whether some of the big teams, especially Ferrari, which is the name of Formula One, sure. they might not participate just because they don't want Italian flan flans, not flans, fans to fly into Australia. Wow. So it's only a week before the race starts and we still undecided whether Ferrari are going to partake. That's Remember, insane. if you don't partake in a race, sorry, yeah. you basically forego, forego your opportunity to win the title. Yes. So that's 25 sure. points going a begging, um, potentially. So not only Formula One, but let's go to the Japanese Olympics. Oh, man. Oh, I'm, man. I don't know about you guys, but when I saw what Japan did for the Rugby World Cup, yeah, I was sure. blown away. That, that was I've good. never was seen good, yeah. a better hosted mm. world event. Mm. And, and their supporters and fans, are every, amazing. Every stadium was packed. Yeah. Mm. And they knew the national anthem of every country that was going. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, they sang so. our national anthem. Our people yeah. can't sing our national <laughs> anthem. <laughs> so um, I'd love to see what Japan can show the world. Yeah. Mm. Um, especially... Going back to Beijing, which was for me the best opening sure. ceremony I've ever seen. True. The big okay, I, I, re I really like London. London told a story, and I thought it was very cool how they well, told it. They had it. Mr. Bean. Dun, 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 yes, dun, dun, but dun, dun. That, that wasn't the coolest part. They had like set pieces and showed the whole history and industrialization and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I but must anyway, be honest, yeah. I, can't, I can't really remember it, but I'm keen for what Japan can come up with. Oh. Um, your guys' thoughts. Do you think it's going to go ahead with uh, the coronavirus? Do you think it's going to be that severe that by the time the Olympics comes, um, they're going to have to. Either two options I've heard is they're going to continue with the Olympics without spectators or mm. they're going to just can the whole thing. They spent so much money, they can't can the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. I, I think um, one factor that, that really um, plays a big role um, in all of this and deciding all of this is the nature of the virus's um, like virility, like okay. the infection yeah, yeah. rate okay. is so potent. It is. Um, which is really like kind of terrifying yeah, yeah. and it's, i think that's death rate is still yeah fine but like it's spreading does yeah. it have a lower death rate than sars um it has a lower death rate than the flu i think it's still has a lower death rate than sars yeah. people's okay. panicking because it spread so quickly and that's the new. thing yeah so I, I think you know and and that's why there's been such a response with you know all these like events that we're saying are being cancelled where mm. they're trying to prevent people from so traveling m m maybe maybe yeah. like Ezra's saying it's there's too much money and preparation that's gone in mm. and you know you're saying that it might go on but no no people in the stadium or less yeah, people yeah. in the stadium that would be really sad especially for the athletes who've been when working is the, when, when is, is the it not in July August which is past is it is it September is it September which is past the summer yeah I think it's yeah which might be honestly okay. like it could <coughs> probably die down yeah by then. but yeah. the thing is it is Tokyo in the summer it's hot as hell oh, and like if, 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 you ever, if you've ever seen footage of trains and stuff there and how people get pushed in um, <laughs> there's gonna be more people yeah, yeah. so one idiot has to go oh. and sneeze oh, no. in a crowd or like cough in a crowd and then yeah so I yeah it's not like you can flip a switch and make this thing go away no. yeah um, but it like we've seen these things and known things to just disappear as well after mm. a time. Mm. Mm. But, but I mean, Ch China has consistently been seeing lower numbers of infection every day. Allegedly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Like, like that's that's no, tinfoil hat. No, no, no. no. Hey, yeah, they've yeah. still got, what, 90% of the world's cases? Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. But um, the second only, I mean, the first and second South Korea. Yes, South Korea, that is and true. Then Italy and Italy has a lot of... I saw, uh, um, I saw a clip where... Um, WeChat, yeah, yes. oh. before the outbreak, yeah. they were um, like basically banning certain words um, oh, no. related to the coronavirus, yeah. and there was a list. Now, I mean, I have WeChat because I sometimes talk to my sister because the WhatsApp like mm. goes down sometimes, and I was just thinking like, what, what of my message did messages didn't go through, or oh, because you don't see that it's blocked, it just doesn't. I think so. Like yeah. the Great Firewall um, of China, uh. which is because because the list of stuff just went. On and on and on and it was like a two-page yeah. list of words um, uh, that were certain things related. It wasn't like it was okay coronavirus, but it was certain things even relating to the president. Yeah, um, that Winnie were the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> blocked. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. So no, yeah. I want to just quickly speak on the financial implications. Mm. Yes, um, the financials, that, <laughs> the fin yeah. uh, all the economic implications, and from there talk about South Africa's current financial status sure. and where we're going. But firstly, how does 
a virus like this affect an economy? Mm. Big article that came out yesterday, the moment that South Africa got declared its first case, the rand dropped by 2%. Instantaneous. To so the dollar. So we're probably trading at over 15 rand per dollar now. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. significantly over, but like probably like 15, 20 probably? Yeah. I've, I haven't I'd, seen... I'd, I'd, neither I'd, have I. Neither have I. But yeah, so there are implications. Now, what, let's talk on a, on a global scale. How does this affect business? Because my uncle's got an international freight company um, leasing out containers mm. to and from Hong Kong specifically. Ooh. Now, he's saying work is slow. Yeah. Work is very slow at the moment. Because there's no, there's no product to ship. Because yep. um, productivity took a massive plunge. People, not, um, people can't go to factories. Yeah. People can't work. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's GDPs certain- are going to go down. For, this, for the first quarter of 2020, we're yeah. probably going to see not necessarily a negative growth, uh, but a decline growth. Stagnating. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, um, they were saying that the, like, at least to the air industry, that we're looking at about a similar performance to the 2008 recession. Oh, okay. Um, Are you talking about the air industry as, the in, in, so as in people flying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, but then that's a very good indication then of like, possibly other industries as well, like non-essential stuff. Okay. Um, but I would suppose as well, um, countries with heavy reliance on exports from yep. countries that are affected, which is China. So a large part of the world. Um, but like, so for example, one stupid thing, I believe it was, it was in Japan, right? Mm-hmm. So there was say, um, people were going and buying toilet rolls because there was people getting these messages, hey, toilet rolls are going to run out because China yes. is affected. Um, and the toilet roll manufacturing consortiums had to come out and they're like, hey, we make our own toilet, toilet paper. It's We're fine. Okay. You don't have to buy these things. Because you know the case in Australia at the moment. No? You guys, you guys surely you know the case of happening in Australia. What, what's happening there? Okay. Toilet paper, you can't even get if you go to the shopping market. What happened was two and a half months ago, okay, everyone started buying toilet paper when the first news outbreak occurred. Okay. Why toilet paper? Now, how's this? The government has said you can only get four um, rolls of toilet paper. If this you is an outrage. Shop. No. Yeah. If you go to the counter and you have more than four rolls of toilet paper, they will not let you purchase all four. What is this, so the USSR? Yeah. No. Can I just say yeah. that after the two weeks I've had, <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be the death <laughs> You're in the shower, bro. You just go to the shower. <laughs> wait, wait, why is toilet paper? Crazy. Why, yeah. why are people in Japan buying toilet paper? Though? Don't they have like fancy toilets and bidets? They do, don't yeah. they? Well, like, probably if, not if every house bidets. can afford one of those, but... The toilets talk. I'm pretty sure there's a cheaper well, listen, model. I, I've heard that there's certain parts of Japan where you still need to squat. Okay, so really? squat, yes. squat toilets. Do you know, like, so, like, I don't know My where. My sister I, tells me that's <laughs> I, I don't know where I read this, but I'm pretty sure in most of, like, so in Asia, squat toilets used to be the de facto toilets, mm-hmm. right? So in certain countries, especially less developed, mm. they still have a combination of squat and normal toilets. Mm. Because apparently what people do on a normal toilet, they squat on the, on the rim. On the lid was they like apparently they really? don't know they, they don't know how to use like oh, for, for what you consider a normal joke, toilet. Uh, so they're so used to squatting, so it's on the rim and they oh like squat gosh. and they use the toilet like that. And you know, like, like you don't take off your shoes and stuff for that. And you're supposed to. What set about doing the Spider-Man climb on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're a man of culture. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think from a evolutionary standpoint, you know, when we were hunter gatherers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, your body is designed the squat. To, yeah. 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 Like you know, like the, the, that that squatty party p- commercial where they explain everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The one yeah. with the unicorn that poops rainbows. There we have, go. have you seen it? No. So basically, it's, there's a little sphincter. We'll oh. play it right now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> take now. Um, that. It's copyright infringement. So there's a little sphincter, right? But when you squat, then it releases. So it just comes out. No, don't Damn. stop the story. No, this okay. is science. This is, this is natural bodily a processes. Health tip, a health tip, though, when you do sit on the can, if you get like a, uh, I was gonna say stool, <laughs> but literally like a little a little step thing that's about um tie in, into your mic, yeah? yeah, into the mic. It's about. 20 to 25 oh. centimeters above it. If you put your feet on that, your body takes a shape where it flows. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the squatty oh, okay. party. That's, that's the and thinking. And it's actually yes. very healthy. Yes. Sure. Speaking sure. of health. Good bowel times, health. Yes. yes. Peter, maybe you should have been exercising that technique and you would have <laughs> caught the, nipped this in the back Listen, quickly. when there's no resistance, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It only stops solids. <laughs> yep. Spe- I don't know how we got it. <laughs> That, but Let's get back. Let's I just want to chat on something that really encouraged me um, mm. for, for South Africa. The budget speech was very um, expansive in its nature, mm. economically expansive. So 
I studied economics uh, just up until third year, so I got my undergrad in economics. And basically, there's two ways which you can grow, the, there's two methods. You get monetary measures and fiscal measures to grow the economy. Monetary methods, methods. methods measures will be dropping the, in, the, in, the, the repo rates or increasing money supply. Fiscal mm. measures will be changing certain, uh, certain oh, I can't pronounce words, changing certain uh, regulations, um, decreasing the tax rates. One example from this budget speech is if you buy a house yeah. under a million rand, there's no transfer costs. Wow. So Are there any houses under a million rand? Not in, in Cape Town. In Cape Town, no. In no. Maritzburg, you'll get a double-story three-bedroom house for 950000 I was about of. to say, let's move there, but it's Maritzburg. No, but also coronavirus. And, and coronavirus. Yeah. Anyway. So the price drops even less. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this budget speech was, um, you could filter it in such a way to say, they're trying to expand the economy now. We're looking for GDP growth. Mm. Let's get out of South Africa's recession. Let's encourage spending. Let's mm. not encourage saving. Let's encourage investing. Let's invest in small businesses. Let's spend money. Let's buy the property. Let's start yeah. to grow the economy. Let's, so I'm really, I'm, I'm hopeful for South yeah, Africa at sure, the moment. Sure. Really, I am. Mm. And then also another major thing was the um, government wage bill. that the one Yes, that this is huge. The, 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 is the unions aren't happy though. Now that that's a whole that's a whole podcast we need to talk about because yeah. who holds the power in South Africa? Kasatu or ANC, uh, you know, and who goes on as the villain? Oh yeah, at yeah, the end no. of the day. no. It's it, technically people are losing money that they were promised. It's the government that's the bad guy. Sure, but like also, how did it get so bloated in the first place? And like, like, I, like, I understand we can't cry over spilt milk. Yeah, this stuff happened and is happening and whatever. Yeah, but like, but a trade union can't control a country. Yeah, and but the ANC, but, the tra- but now the trade unions are saying, but why must we pay the price for the government's ineptitude mi- or mismanagement and corruption? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the like, like the thing is, if you have the, a trade union, is a collection of the people. Technically, a party is a collection, like you know. Like yeah, but in a people. very entitled country, a powerful trade union is more dangerous than they are good. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's my opinion. Tra- tra- trade union history in this country is interesting. So, like, Kusat, when it was n- it, it, it was NUMSA that was started by Ramaphosa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what and a contradiction. That, that, that ended up forming Kusatu. I'm all making up part of Kusatu. And what's interesting is that the unions played a very key role. Like, you, like as, as, as a black person, as a black yes. individual, you got a lot to thank for the union. Yeah, no, like you, you had no say when it. You couldn't go up to your mm. white boss and be like, mm. "Hey, give me more money." They'll just beat you and like make you go back to work. I would never do that. Yeah, no, no, no. Like <laughs> this is the past. Yes, but like, like you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so I hear you. As soon as you unionize, then the people have a voice. Yeah, mm. and they did like amazing things then, and that's why they're part of the tripartite yeah. alliance. Sure. But Which is getting a very not much of an alliance anymore. Yeah, no, like it's more the, of like the, an not, enemy. There's not much solidarity there. Nah. But so it's it, it's it's interesting. Like, do, would unions that big still have a place? Because you see unions all over the world, and most big businesses don't like unions mm, for very sure. obvious mm. reasons. Yeah. So th- that's sure. my question, really. But on on the whole, let's go back just to the budget speech mm. and six percent tax decrease. On, Across board. I don't pay tax, but I'm you don't, excited for the people who I do. I pay tax, you pay yeah. tax, Ben, you pay tax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, there's so much pain in when you said yeah there. It's yeah. wild. I mean, especially, Ben, I mean, you're expecting... Um, an increase. An increase. I mean, you, you, would, you would need yeah. to do the maths to also yeah. see. So that means, essentially, if Ben does get his increase, that means more money in his pocket. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that is actually like a really positive You're going to spend a bit more. Hopefully, eat more food. Yeah, help boost the economy, like off my salary alone. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 but then you're, the allowed, you're not allowed to buy from Amazon, eh? Because then it doesn't help our economy. Uh, huh? But like importing costs. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The importing costs is bad, eh? Importing like, costs I, is so Every bad. time yeah. I go on Amazon, I'm like, this is what I need. Yeah. I was watching this video and I was like, uh, yep. and then I, l- yep. I was like, wait, the import cost is just as much as the item uh, I'm exactly. trying to buy. But all of the things I want to buy off oh. of there, even with import costs, it still ends up being cheaper if I buy it on Amazon. Okay, I was looking at an item last week and I just... Like, like if, if, it's, if it's small items, not really, but if it's like, especially electronic items. So these headphones are shipped from Amazon. Oh, okay. Um, like it pretty much, like I got a mod mic with it. So because so I use these for gaming mm-hmm. and then it still ended up being like more or less on the same price, cheaper than what okay. I would have been. Yeah. I mean, that's, that makes a difference. Taxes, guys. Taxes are wild. Absolutely. Okay. They should teach tax in, in school, bro. They taught us photosynthesis. They should. Bro. Because, no, actually, Which is like, become really helpful in photosynthesis season. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like legit though, like teaching taxes in school, I'm, I'm like sitting, I'm like, okay, cool. 
um, I don't earn nearly enough to earn taxes yet, but when I do, mm. how the hell am I supposed to make that work? Mm. So we start a series where we teach tax. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, but I've been paying tax for a while. I still don't know. <laughs> no, it's true. Get, yeah, it's, it's true. Get your it'll be fine. Oh, no, but it's... Also, oh, I love you. <laughs> it's also like... Sometimes you work like overtime mm. and you're like, oh, some extra money. And you're like, oh, no, but it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and and like, how gone. does that get calculated? Yeah. If, if you were to have like a side hustle or something, that's even more complicated because it's not taxed at the same rate. No, mm. but it's side hustles all taxed at a flat rate of 20%. So if you've got a secondary income in South Africa, it's yes. not your primary income, yes. it's a flat fee of 20%. So are you allowed to have your secondary income to be larger than your primary income? Well, then it's not your secondary income. No, no, but, but like, it's, yeah, it's okay. yeah. see, that's, that's what I don't know. We need a tax but, practitioner but to they, come in. But there are tax breaks for new business am I correct yes. Yeah. yes because we need new businesses yeah. Yeah. South Africa does not need more NPOs we need businesses because yes. our people don't have jobs the capitalists in you coming out it's interesting yeah but also have socialist tendencies I know you do anyway <laughs> anyway so now I got a little game since we spoke about nice. Formula One now one thing that's become more and more um, of a thing in the beginning of the year is this anticipation for the new F1 cars and the liveries to come out and people to see like what it looks like. So what is a livery? Is it like a shrubbery or that it's was like, a Monty Python reference? Uh, but what, what like like a livery is? Like the design. The, the design. Okay, the, okay, look, okay. the external look. Mm. Oh, and, then, okay. and that includes the driver outfit. Also includes the driver helmets. Helmets, helmets well. are a big thing in Formula Anybody one. who plays uh, GT knows. Yeah. Okay. I do yeah. not. That's okay. So, <laughs> so I got a little game. Mm. Now, the official F1 page ran a poll across the world um, where people are living and <laughs> they, they wanted you to vote for the best looking car mm. of the year. Now, what I've done is I've gone and found the top five, okay? Mm. And what I've asked Peter to do during the week and what I've asked Ezra to do during the week is don't go and look at that poll. Mm. Just go and look at the 10 cars and tell me which are your top five. And now I've got a point system that I'm going to do so firstly, I want you guys to give me your top five mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put into this point system and then we're going to calculate who actually knows. Sure. Did you do this in who's, Excel? Who's yes, I did. <laughs> oh, you so cool with Excel. Look actually, at you. I haven't calculated it yet. I'm going to calculate it just oh. now. But it's basically to see, do you know or what Or do you looks have good. good taste? Do you have good taste in cars? <laughs> so, let me... Now, oh, wait, I don't have my phone. <laughs> now, Ezra, can you give me okay. your uh -huh. fifth to first? So my first one, um, I like your the retro popsicle looking look. Um, the Williams Mercedes one's pretty cool. Williams, mm. okay, that, that's your first, eh? That's my first. I do like the popsicle look as well. Like, it cool. looks cool. It really like, looks cool. like like you know like it's a big shift for last year's car. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the second one was the Alfa Romeo one, and like it, like you know nice classic looking design type thing. Um, the third one was Ferrari. It's interesting how they went with the matte finish. I it love like the matte finish. The matte finish. The matte like, red especially. Yeah, the, the, the red was very interesting. Mm. Red, very iconic red that yeah. they went with. Um, the fourth one was Red Bull. Like you can't go wrong with just black. You know, yeah. it's it's, it's like it's like a dark navy. It's always oh, a dark are navy. You, no, are you thinking of Renault? Because Renault's no, black. no, I'm I'm thinking of the Red Bull one. Okay, okay like, Red Bull's like a in, navy in, with, in the with picture, the yellow it, nose. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the Red Bull one. Okay. It had a Red Bull. Yes, on it, yes. that's Red Bull. Um, and then finally, uh, the McLaren Renault one was interesting. I like I'll just put that there. The McLaren, the, the orange one, right? Yeah, it McLaren. was like blue with mm, orange yeah. and stuff. Yeah, no, that looked decent, but that's like okay. on my list by like because I needed a fifth one. Okay, uh, I love the look of the McLaren. Ben? Oh, sorry. Ben, as well. Uh, yeah, Ben. Ben was sorry. also part of this. Time. Sorry. Uh, flip, I don't actually have the list in front of me. Uh, Did you just have the list in front of you? <laughs> do you want to quickly take a look? Do you want to take a look at the photos while I do and this? Then, no, I, can, I can do mine, yeah. So my number five. Yeah. Um, oh, I, going this way around. I like it. Sorry, yeah. Thanks. I was going to say Red Bull. Okay. Um, I do really love mm. their, their matte navy. Is, is and they, just, they invented the matte look. They really did. It turned yeah. me hot in that oh. car, surely. <laughs> um, and then I think fourth, I would say Alfa Romeo. Okay. I really like that like cherry red on top. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful yep. with the white. I put in third Haas, went back to their original colors, Whoa. Okay, which is which like are? a red, black, and white. That was bold. Um, because last year they had Rich Energy as their yeah. big sponsor. And, then and they pulled out. They just like let them down big time. Mm. Yeah. And I really didn't like the black and, and gold, but the this like really beautiful mm. red with like black highlights and the white cars is, you know, horse in bold, basically. Yeah. It's, it's really, really nice. And then second from the top, I said McLaren mm -hmm. with their beautiful orange and blue. Okay. And then my top, I really like the Alpha Touri. Alpha Touri for with me the, the is white the best and black. Car. Was just so, I think so that one beautiful. just looked a bit plain. Really? 
Yeah. Alpha Tori for me is the hottest it car looks, I've seen uh, in F1 with that, in a long With time. that kind of like infinity sign at the back. Yep. Um, no, look, like you want to make a statement. That's why the Williams Mercedes. So the black and white. It, like it, it, it took me back to the 90s. I mean, the, 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 the 60s. True. Or 70s. I don't know where. I wasn't there. But like, took me ben, back. Are you um, nearly there? Sure. Ben, Ben's a stylist. Like, yeah. Yo, Ben's got a good eye. He's the creative. I think, I think so, yeah. yeah. Photography. Like, I don't have like the proper full images. <laughs> For yeah. each of these, um, sure. But sure, I really do like the Alpha Tori. Okay, is that your number one? Eh? No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's there though. I've always, I've always liked the Red Bull matte black or matte okay. navy blue. It's just ah, looks really good. Um, You're wearing black right now. It feels boring to yeah, like say that for the first. Okay, I, I quite like Ferrari's matte look as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a good look. It's very um, profound. Yeah, Alpha Tori. So probably in second. Okay, Alpha Tori in second. Um, Red Bull in first. Oh wow! Ferrari in third. Pick my picks. Uh, yep. And I'm just gonna throw in a curveball and say Racing Point at fourth. Okay. Ooh. With the pink. You into pink? Wild. Okay. Nice. Um, and well, if I am looking at the right one, then Alpha Romeo. The red and white. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like completely black and red. That's okay. a Renault. Black and red. Yeah. Let's see. Is that the? What is that? Yeah, it's like not the whole picture. Uh, that was that, the, that was Alfa. Rome. That yeah. was the Alfa Romeo, but that was the um, uh, the before reveal, I uh, believe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's just the top that's on top of it. No, no, no. It was oh. a um, there was a design they had before, um, before they actually revealed the final uh, okay. livery. Never mind then. Yeah. Um, probably Haas. Haas as well. Yeah, okay. Cool. So what's gonna happen? Yes. I'm gonna just tell you the points. It might nice. take me a minute. Isn't this Excel it's supposed to be automatic? No, I didn't make a formula. <laughs> That's a good um, okay. Um, so we're gonna cue the. Okay. You know when they make we you hold. You know we don't make have time hold? to edit that in. <laughs> okay, so when you guys are gonna make those sounds. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna get some points, but you can't distract me. Yeah, okay. and, and, and we can't sing too well because otherwise we're gonna get copyright infringed. Oh. Um, but Peter, tell me, Skyrim tonight. Yeah. At half past eight. Um, and tonight being the today is the seventh. Of March. March, yeah. So on the seventh of March at half past eight. That's Australia. correct. Yeah. So we're we're in. I've I've done like maybe I'm on my way to Windhelm basically. Oh. Um, so you a, finally woke up. <laughs> the memes. I've got a I've got a mm. bit of bit of equipment. I'm going heavy armor, like I said. Okay. I like the Berserker Rage. You will turn into a stealth archer. By the end no, I don't want to. I, I, n- I started as a, as a wizard yeah. or like as a mage, whatever they call it. You in always do. It yes, always I always ends do. Up. And then, and then Stealth Archer. What I, what I really like is the controls um, on PlayStation is really fun because you really get, I don't know, you get into the action, you know? And I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm dual wielding um, sh- swords. Oh, that is, is dual wielding really is fun. fun. Yeah, if, if you can um, level that up, that's pretty nice. So I've been focusing heavy armor st- um, and then the dual wielding. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just on another stream, just, just another yeah. note, um, Tyron and Jenna... Clayton and Megan next oh, week okay. Friday. Yeah, next we will Friday. be streaming. Um, that's you. Yeah. So they should follow us on Twitter and Instagram in order to figure out. Yeah, and and catch us on Twitch. Yeah. We'll probably be running from like seven thirty on Friday night. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and this is similar to the game we played for Valentine's Day yeah. with the boys. It's it's, it's kind of like Jackbox um, um, Party Pack. Ooh. Yeah. If, if you're familiar yeah. with that. So join us. It's gonna be really nice. Yeah. It's gonna be kind of like I'm gonna yeah. be fifth wheel because. Okay. No. No. That, that is how it we works. We can change two, that. two married couples. We can change. We can, can we change, change that. What's that teacher's name? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Make just, just, just before, before we go to results, I just want to plug everything. Um, at yes. Bear Dependence for Twitter, yeah. um, at Barely Independent for Instagram. Um, we're on Facebook actually, so give us a like on Facebook, Barely yeah. Independent. Um, and then also we are on Twitch yeah. as um, Barely Independent. You'll see yeah. our little bear with a little gamer headset. Yeah. Um, we have a Discord. Um, follow us on Twitch and stuff for more information on yeah. that. Um, but yeah, guys, we just like like this is an awesome way to chill with you guys yeah. and get yeah. to know what. It's happening, whatever. We another puzzle pack more person. We're building this thing, True. puzzle pack. So please give us anyway, a follow, couple of like. Our, our okay. episode is getting into about the 50th something minute. Okay. Um, so Who wins? Now, I just want to explain how I did the points. Okay. So you got one point if one of your cars made the actual top five list. Oh, nice. Mm. You got two points if you pegged it in the exact same position Ooh. on that list. Okay. And you got five points if your first car, if your number one yes. rated car was the number one rated car on the world pole. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want to... 
go from fifth to first in the actual poll. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, let's, let's do that. Tie for fifth. Mm -hmm. Three-way tie. Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull. All How were we supposed to guess a three-way tie? Anyway, so no, but I still gave you a point if you'd oh, any okay, of those. Okay, okay. okay, in your list. Fourth place was Williams. So sure. well done to Ezra. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Third place was Renault, Wild. which no one put on their list. Second place was McLaren. Okay. And first place was Alfa Tori. So I got three out of the... Yes, so Peter, no, in coming in, in the last place, drrr, we got Ben. Yeah. With three points. Nice. You suck. You had three cars I in the top five. I love you. And then in second place, obviously Ezra. Yeah. <laughs> with four points. <laughs> and then with 10 points, we've got Peter Griffiths. Woo. You know your Formula One cars. Nice. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. This was an informative episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Please go read up on coronavirus. Absolutely. Um, Stay safe. Yeah. Wash Ezra's your hands. dad's got a. I think a YouTube thing out. Yeah, um, we'll, what yeah. we'll do, we'll leave some links in the description yeah. Yeah. for more information about coronavirus, how to protect yourself, um, mm. just useful links and sure. interviews and sure. stuff. And I'll update you on my health conditions in, in four weeks' time. Please, uh, bro. Absolutely. Because okay. I'll just be finished my quarantine in four weeks from now. Um, legit. And then last... Are we allowed to see you? Of course. Well, at your own peril. Oh, okay. Um, and lastly... Stay tuned for some epic new content potentially coming out in the next month or two. Yeah, like um, our, our goal was end of March. Yeah. We'll see if we stick to that goal. Yeah. Um, and you tell might, your friends. And your if kids, you look up wives. in the sky and you see a rocket in the next two weeks, oh, it might just be something dude. some of us have made. Anyway, lots of love. In the next episode, we'll catch you. Bye, Puzzle. Bye. Cheers.